Good morning everybody, and here I am in Port St Mary. It's lovely down here today, down south of the island. Now, I like to call myself an experienced pub goer. I've been doing it for years, it's great. And uh, there's certain things in a pub what gets on your nerves. Now I'm not a dinosaur, I move on with the times, you know. But us beer drinkers, we have our little niggles, don't we, when we see something happen in the pub we don't like. So, coming up now are 10 things what us beer drinkers dislike in a good old-fashioned boozer. Right, hope you enjoy it. See you later. So, one of the things what gets on me nerves is a group of people coming in and they buy individually. Now, I was in this pub in Lancaster called The Water Witch. Four people, two girls, two blokes. And he goes to the bar, orders a pint of Peroni, pays with his card, and she goes to the bar, orders a gin and tonic, pays with a card, and then he comes along as a pint of Carlin, pays with the card and he said, oh sorry that card's not working, oh I've given you the wrong card, bloody hell like, you know, and then she comes up and wants a, a white wine and soda and pays with her card, and I'm waiting there, I'm frustrated, the barman's frustrated, it's not the way to do it is it, so all I can say is get in a bloody round, that's the way forward isn't it, cheers. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice, famous people, get on your nerves, Lewis Hamilton, Prince Harry, Prince Andrew, Boris Johnson, Labour leader, Keir Starmer, they're there behind the bar in the pub sampling a pint of real ale or a craft beer and pretending they like it. Well, underneath they're going, oh, where's the champagne? Where's the Prosecco? Well, stick to what you know, you lot, you famous people. You don't like beer. So stick to what you know. They get on your nerves, don't they? So, Pub toilets. Sometimes in the pub you get caught short and you need number two, don't you? So you have to use the facilities. But, do you need this? Do you need this? One sheet. One sheet. One sheet. Get a proper toilet roll. Blimey. Anyway. <sighs> ah, that's better. Right, I'll just sort myself out here and get back to my mind. So, another thing what gets on my nerves is somebody going to the back in an ordinary pub, an ordinary proper bloke's pub, and they said, oh, can I have a mojito or a pina colado? And it's like, the was like that, my God, and it's like 10 people waiting to get served. That's all you need, isn't it? So just stick to your wine bars, don't come in pubs and ask for that. I remember the sidings in Castletown, I was in there one day, and this woman comes to the bar, and I was siding, a proper working class pub, great pub. And she comes to the bar and he said, excuse me, what kind of gins have you got? And the lad behind the bar said, we've got gardens, we've got gardens, and we've got gardens. <laughs> that soon put her off coming in, didn't it? <laughs> Cheers. Right, so you all know Dougie Gluggy, don't you? Hi, folks. Anyway, so me and him, we've been drinking together for years, years. So it's like telepathy. So, you know what happens when I drink my pint, even though he's got some left himself? Oh, we had another, Dave. Oh, thanks very much, Doug. Same again? Oh, yeah. Cheers. So, he's, he's noticed I finished my pint, and he's got some left, but he doesn't hang about. He goes, right, I'll go and get two more. That's how you're supposed to do it. But the inexperienced drinker would do this. Mm. So, did you watch the snooker last night? Yeah, it's a bit potty like. Beer. That's what you're not supposed to do. Be an experienced drinker. Put your ideas up. <laughs> <sighs> Guinness. I'm at the bar, somebody's there before me ordering six drinks. So he orders a bitter, a lager, a cider, a gin and tonic, a vodka and orange. And at the very end, he goes, Oh, and a pint of Guinness, please. Lab behind the bar is going, no, why didn't you order that first? Because Guinness, you pour it three quarters, 
and you have to wait about one minute thirty odds for it to settle before you top it up. So order your guineas first, otherwise I'm frustrated, the bar lad's frustrated, I don't know. Cheers. Ah. Right, so you go in a pub and you see on the menu it's got chips, gammon, peas. And it says egg or pineapple. Well, you don't want egg or pineapple, you want egg and pineapple, don't you? Not egg or. Look at this now. I've got gammon, chips, I've even got mushrooms on this, onion rings, tomatoes, pineapple, and egg. Not all egg and egg. In the side rooms, Castletown. That's the way to do it. Cheers. <laughs> so, when I go to a pub, I like to go there for a chit chat with my mates, game of pool, game of darts. I just generally sit there on my own, contemplating on life. Bring me beer. What I don't need is dour music on the jukebox in the background. This is Radiohead, quality band, but leave it at home. It makes you miserable. Leonard Cohen is another one. And you certainly don't want Coldplay or Ed Sheeran in the background, do you? How boring are they? No, you want a bit of hard rock, a bit of heavy metal, a bit of reggae, a bit of northern soul, a bit of punk. That's what we want. Come on, pups, put your ideas up. Look how miserable Percy is, listen to this. Look at him. Oh, poor Percy. Right, so, come on, pups. Good music in the pubs. None of this miserable stuff. We're not there to be miserable. We're both there to be happy. Right, cheers, folks. <laughs> oh, this is the pub dodger. The one who shirks his round getting the beers in. Now, I've just bought the round in. It's his round next. And we're just about to walk in the pub. And what happens? Here we come mate, the Albert can't wait to get in. Oh, listen, my shoelace is undone. I'll just tie my shoelace, you nip in and get the beers out, mate, will you? And I'll catch up with you. Typical, sends me in to get the beer and he'll catch up with me. I never get the money. Well, we're just about to get to the pub and here example number two. I've got my last drinks. It's his time to get the drinks and this is what happens. Oh, hang on Dave. I'm just going to have to nip to the cash point. I'll catch you in the pub, I will in five minutes mate, five minutes. I won't get the money off him. Just about to step in the pub, I got my last beers, it's his turn to get the pints in, and this is what happens. Oh, I'm just going to make a phone call Dave, I won't be a minute, I'll meet you in there. Five minutes, five minutes mate. There's no one on the phone, look at him, he's pretending someone's phoned him. I don't know. The pub shirker, what they like. Don't go for a drink with him. Oh, nice. Now, I've nothing against children, I've got kids, I've got grandkids. But parents, when you bring your kids to the pub, make sure you look after them. Don't let them roam about, because otherwise I'm at the bar having a quiet pipe with my mates and I've got these little ankle biters around my legs. I'm not here to babysit, you know. So, parents, when you bring your kids to the pub and you have your meal, let them sit with you, not us. We're not babysitters. All right, nice one. Cheers. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed them little niggles I have in the pub. <laughs> and I think most of you will agree with me. Uh, yes, we have to move on with the times, I suppose. But anyway, keep going to the pub, everybody. And keep having a beer. Even if you're at home, have a beer. Support the pub, support the breweries. And uh, it'll all come good in the end, won't it? So next week, we're back in the pub, in the Isle of Man. See you next week. And uh, keep subscribing. And if you haven't, give it a go. And if not, keep slurping. Thank you very much. Cheers.